Hey guys, we're covering the winning stocks for the week of February 5th through February 9th. I'm actually getting this out this late this weekend because unfortunately I spent the weekend getting going to the emergency room and then actually getting checked in which I wasn't expecting to do. I just got out tonight and I said before I hit the bed, let me hit you guys with this video. It was a long weekend, a long saga. But in any event, I like to start these off with the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ to see which way the entire market's been moving. And so since the one down week we had, we had nine up weeks, one down week, and then the climb continued to resume on the S&P 500 for the fifth week now. Now, on the other hand, it moved up four weeks. It moved up a little this week past week, but sort of more way, more sideways. And the um, NASDAQ, it's a fifth positive week. One of them in there was a doji. So, we're starting off with Clearfield. Clearfield Inc. is a two-star, currently at $29.71 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $33.50 in the next 12 months. Clearfield is going to be removed from our watch list. It's sort of going in a sideways pattern, but according to Yahoo analysts, even though the analysts aren't always right, it's not showing much room for growth. So they'll be being removed after this week. Patreon Corporation. They are a three star. They moved up the last couple of weeks. They're currently at $379.37. My estimation, based on PE analysis, is that they can move up to $368.43 in the next 12 months. Now, I do a conservative estimate based on what the PE is, meaning... The lowest difference in the la looking at the last five years is usually what I go go with, so I know the absolute worst we can do. But still, my estimation brings us to three sixty eight forty three. We're already past that at three seventy nine thirty seven, so I'm removing this stock from the watch list. You won't see it coming up in further videos unless they drop to the 52 week low again. Hershey Company. They are a three star. They actually moved up last week. I spoke about them in this week's option pick. And from that time, an earnings report came out. It was good news about them. They actually moved up. But now this last week, they moved back down again. They are at $195.45 right now. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $209.14. They are actually ex-dividend. 
but you have to own them before December 16th to be eligible for that dividend. And that dividend is $1.37 a share. However, remember the dividend, X dividend date is February 16th, which means you have to own them by the 15th, Monday. Genuine Parts Company. They are a two star. Currently moving sideways a little. They are currently at $143.18 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $154.09 a share in the next 12 months. CVX. CVX is a one star. They move over a little, drop a little, moved up next couple of weeks. Then this prior week was sort of a, ended in sort of a dochi, but almost, but it was a negative candle and it was down a little. They're currently at $151.04 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $176.52 a share in the next 12 months. MGP Ingredients. They've dropped for a few weeks now. One, two, three, four, five, six. They dropped six weeks straight. They moved up with two candles and since that time dropped six weeks straight. Now they finally hit a green candle again. You want to take a look and see what they do after this. Are they going to continue to move up? Or is the move down going to continue? In any event, MGP Ingredients is at $85.44 a share. Yahoo Analysts estimate it can move up to $130.57 in the next 12 months. Yum China Holdings and Yum China Holdings is one of the stocks that was picked in this week's option picks. You may want to take a look at this week's episode of that to see how it did. In any event, Yum China Holdings is at $40.31 $40.31 and 30 cents, 31 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $59.11 a share in the next 12 months. They are giving a dividend too. You have to own them before November, before March 4th, I'm sorry. You have to own them before March 4th to be eligible for that dividend. If you take a look at this big green candle down here, that was actually a result of an earnings report coming out and in the earnings report 
there was some positive news, which is what shot them all the way up here, but they came back down, so in any event, you may want to check that out in this week's Option Picks, as I said before, they are a one-star.